Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about a little tiny fixed blade, a little mini EDC fixed blade. But before we do, you guys know the drill. Please reach down there and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And that bell notification icon beside it. The bell notification icon lets YouTube know you're a real human and they won't automatically unsubscribe you. Um, it'll also let you know when I release new content, whether it be videos or going on live streams. And allegedly it helps the algorithm show my videos to other people. So what this is here is this is yet another fixed blade knife that I purchased early on in my fixed blade quest to try to find an EDC knife that was a fixed blade that I could carry and basically accessorize my primary carry. Carry it as a secondary or as a third carry now that I've got into slip joints. But what originally attracted me to these were the little Jacob Creates Chickadee. So I started out, I had a couple of bigger fixed blades, EDC sized, but they weren't quite as small. So when I found this knife on White Mountain Knives Company, it is a Tucson, it is a bargain knife or a value knife, and it is one of my favorite small fixed blades really in the collection. I mean, it's very, very small. It is another Wong design knife like the TS-150. This is the TS-247. It has got a burlap micarta handle, kind of a nice rough burlap micarta handle, full tang construction with nice jimping here. Really just gives you a three finger grip here on the knife. There's not really a choke up place, even though there's a really good sharpening choil. So you do have this one grip. You can grip it in many different grips, but again, you're going to be safely confined to the three fingers that I can get on the back here. But it's M390. It's got a nice belt satin grind, um, a drop point blade, uh, T8 hardware if you wanted to skeletonize this, not that you would, or if there are replacement scales. I haven't seen any. It does have a lanyard hole here in the back. The lanyard hole is a little rough, but depending on how you're drilling my carta, that doesn't bother me. I'm not very anal about stuff like that. What I'm not crazy about with Tucson, but it doesn't bother me too much on a small knife, is the branding. It does have Tucson on the blade here, and on the side here, it has M390 and Wong Designs proudly display. But for a small EDC knife, it came with this Kydex sheath and a little Tucson thing that clipped on the back that allowed you just to slide it on your belt. I immediately upgraded it and put the little um, IWF belt loop on it so I can wear this Scouts carry style up against my belt. That way I can carry a primary folder in my right pocket, a slip joint in my left pocket, and if I want to carry my fixed blade I can. The sheath is done very well, these Kydex sheaths. There's no rattle, great retention, has a really good thumb push to open that up. Let me grab a little piece of PP Digest. And I'll warn you guys, this knife has been through the ringer, but it is still sharp. This knife has cut cardboard. This knife has cut a lot of paracord. cut paper. It's got a short blade so I'm pulling out of the cut. So yeah, this M390 came from the factory, very sharp. It is very sharp. It's got this nice little swedge area up here, and then you've got about uh, 8 sixteenths hollow grind or flat grind the rest of the way down. Um, just a delightful little knife. Um, I actually prefer this over the TS-150 
150, the smaller little uh, triangular knife I showed you guys um, earlier in the week. I like it because it's a little bit larger. I like the fact that it has contoured handles. I don't know if you can see the contours in that micarta. Um, I like the fact that it's just a little bit larger and I like the drop point blade. Really suits me well as a backup carry. But let's do a couple of quick size comparisons with, we won't break out the 4 Max, but let's look at it next to the Civivi Baby Banter. It's about the same size as the VV Baby Banter, which will mean it's going to be much smaller than the Benchmade Bug Out, which is why, again, it makes such a good secondary carry knife. Now let's look at it next to some fixies. Let's look at it next to my Jason Grant small J cow. It's a little smaller than the small J cow. Let's look at it next to the Bradford Guardian 3. Again, it's a good bit smaller than the Guardian 3. Let's look at it next to the Essie Candura. It's got about the same handle width, but a little bit longer blade, even though it's slimmer. And lastly, the Jacob Creates Chickadee, to which it's also got about a half of an inch. So guys, the TS-247, which is not currently in stock, you could probably find it on eBay. You could probably find it on Amazon if you want to wait for it. Or you could wait for Justin to get it back in at White Mountain Knives. Go in there and put an email alert in because I love this knife. And guys, this knife was under $59. It's $58.99 before you put in your 10% discount code. I typically use Lefty 10 because it's easy for me to remember. Um, but Tri-State 10, anybody's 10% code, you'll get 50, you'll get 10% off the 58, 59 bucks. Free shipping does come with the Kydex sheath. Um, can't say enough nice things about this knife. Let's do a couple of quick uh, measurements. We'll break out the Javon easy to read tape. I'm sorry, Ben Peterson. I will promise I'll break back out the NAFCO ruler. So it's five and a half inches overall with the handle that's going to come in right at two and three quarters. That little usable area, we'll call it two and a half in between those two areas where I had my fingers. The cutting edge on this blade is two and a half inches. Yeah, blade length's two and a half. Now let's take a look at the thickness. All right. Blade stock's point one three five. I can try to get behind the edge, but I never do. 0.0190. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but if we want to look at our scales, I'm guessing this is going to come out to about a half inch. 0.559. And the thickness of the tang back at the back is 0.1 seven so again i think this is a bruiser of a little knife when you look at the um the specs on white mountain knives it says it's heat treated at 58 to 60. who knows the way i look at it this knife i haven't rolled an edge on it i haven't stropped it it looks like it could use a stropping But yeah, I've been very pleased with this little knife. 
I can greatly recommend it to you guys. Let's look at how light this thing is because I talk about wearing it on my belt. You could also take this off, use it just as a drop, a pocket dropper, drop it in your left pocket. You could fashion it with an ulti clip so that you could clip it in your pocket. First, we'll measure it, we'll weigh it with the sheath and the uh, little strap. 3.10 ounces. And the knife itself is 2.15 ounces. So it is a very, very small little guy. And I think it's a winner. And again, if you get into it, I don't do math in my head, but if we say 58 bucks, $5 and 80 cents, what's that? 53, 54 bucks to see if you like a small fixie. I would recommend this over the TS-150. The TS-150 is a great knife. It's a little more chickadee-like, but it is a good bit smaller. I think you might get more utility out of this knife if you're just trying out EDC fixed blades or you're trying to see how small you can go and still be, um, you know, still have it be a functional knife for you. This is a good one, guys. Great retention in the sheath, great micard on the handle, quality blade steel, very low price. I appreciate you coming by to watch the video. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe and the bell notification. I'd really appreciate it if you look out for the guy or gal to your left, look out for the guy or gal to your right, look out for each other, go forward with love in your heart, choose debate over hate. I love you all. Peace.